All right, everyone, we have a new trailer to react to, and it's for The Penguin. I'm really disappointed that we're not going to be getting The Batman Part 2 until 2026, but at least we're going to be getting something from that world. I, I was a huge fan of Matt Reeves' The Batman. Um, it was one of my favorite movies the year it came out. I believe it was 2022, and I just loved his his version of, of, of Gotham. I loved that it was very much a detective story and how he used the, the villains. Uh, from the Riddler to Carmine Falcone and obviously uh, the Penguin, I, I thought I thought was great. And Colin Farrell just completely <laughs> disappeared into the role. I mean, the makeup on him is absolutely in incredible. Some of the I think some of the best modern makeup that we've seen in a superhero film in in years. I mean, people didn't even recognize him, you know, as as the Penguin, as Oswald Cobblepot, and clearly they knew they had something with that. And he was such a standout character, despite not even having all that much screen time. That they thought, hey, let's let's lean into him. Let's have a mafia gangster story focused on the Penguin, the rise of, of, of the Penguin to be one of um, Gotham City's premier uh, crime bosses. And so I, I think that's a great idea. I'm very excited uh, for this uh, show. So let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer, and I'll come back with my, my thoughts. And I'm very curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So let's go ahead and start watching. Damn. Ah! Huh? When I was a kid, there was a gangster, real old school type, Rex Calabrese. He was a big deal. He helped people. He saw you on the street, he call out to you. When I'm 14 or something, yeah. he has a heart attack and dies. Still holding a cigar. <laughs> In my neighborhood, they throw a parade in his honor. A freaking parade. I mean, it wasn't fancy, but it was a gesture. A show of love for what he meant. Can you imagine to be remembered like that? Oh man, I'm absolutely loving what I'm seeing right now. So this fall, it's coming out this fall. Cannot wait. This looks spectacular. I mean, I'm a huge fan of, um, you know, gangster movies and mob movies. Obviously, you know, classic ones like, you know, The, the Godfather, of course. And, you know, I, I love Goodfellas. But then... You know, obviously, obviously, we had the kind of like Trump return of the of the gangster character with the the Sopranos, which kind of kicked off the I don't know the the whatever you want to call it the golden age, the Renaissance uh, era of, of of television with the Sopranos, and um, it obviously looks like it's taking a, a lot from that, which is totally fine with me. I mean, looking at Colin Farrell, looking at how he looks like his penguin, he kind of looks a little bit like uh, James Gandolfini. But um, yeah, I think this is I think this is fantastic. You know, it honestly reminds me a little bit of this super underrated comic book series that I've, I've always I've always brought it up because I don't think enough people have read. It. It's called Gotham Central. And um, it's basically focused on the uh, police officers of the GC uh, PD and their lives. And people are saying, like, didn't they make that show? That was Gotham. It's like that. It, they couldn't be more different from each other. I mean, Gotham, I was hoping Gotham would be that show. And it was not just became, you know, villain of the week just became, you know, so, so focused on those villains. And it was so over the top and, you know, ridiculous and very CW-ish, obviously. But this is kind of like capturing that tone where it's, you know, the the day-to-day -day lives of the GCBD. In this case, the day-to-day -day lives of the of the criminals in in Gotham City of of a, of a of a rising gangster who you know who was originally under the thumb of Carmine Falcone and now he wants to get his own slice of that pie and he wants to to rule as one of those top tier crime bosses and um, I, I just think that's a a brilliant idea and again 
Colin Farrell looks like he's having so much fun, as much fun as he had playing the the Penguin Oswald Cobblepot in the original uh, movie. And uh, yeah, just to learn more about this character, there's so much history that they can pull from too. I mean, they can reinterpret it, you know, to whatever degree they they wish to. Obviously, since they did such a great job with the um, with the first film, but yeah, you know, Oswald Cobblepot has like a rich history um, within the the comics and obviously the various uh, animated shows. Um, you know, some, some of the movies, uh, although I don't think they're going to make this as ridiculous as Danny DeVito's, uh, uh, Penguin from Batman Returns, although I, I do have an appreciation for that, that, that version. It's a fun version. But, um, everything I'm seeing right here is great, and I'm excited to see what they're going to, uh, cherry pick from, what they're going to be inspired by. I think that's, uh, really exciting, whether it be from Batman comics or, you know, classy gangster movies or, you know, the stuff like Goodfellas or, or even things from The Sopranos. I mean, so many amazing things they can uh, can take and add to this show. But what about you guys? Uh, how do you feel uh, about this trailer? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of the Batman? I really enjoyed the Batman. One of my favorite Batman movies of all time. Uh, and also, what did you think of Colin Farrell's performance as the Penguin? Are are you excited for a spinoff show focused on, on this character? Uh, please go ahead and let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.